Mitch Coley. One final point is Will Watson. They could have nicked me a bench to take it clear. Putting in again. Uh, cool. Well, as you can tell, we are back at Beamish Museum for the Dig for Victory event, which we attended last year. And uh, I can't believe it's been a year since it's been on. But let's have a look around all the World War II exhibitions and uh, see what's going on. Yeah, you need more time. She wanted it back, she gave it, and decided that she might want it back. So our first stop today is Home Farm, where the majority of the World War II exhibitions are, because Home Farm, as you know, is set during the times of World War II. So it makes sense that they have the exhibitions here. So behind us there we have the home guard. Mr. Menrin, don't worry Mr. Menrin, I'm coming. <laughs> Those of a certain age will get that joke and uh, probably not if you're not from the UK. Dad's army. I don't know. No, I haven't. And where do you think we're singing? Well, I thought it was in the house. Life back. <laughs> um, you could be evacuated as a family, you know. Yeah. Um, but uh, next door is a, it's a bit more like a kind of. It's a torch. Oh, yeah. But it is, it is British. But it's actually copied off a German design. Because we're looking at this German torch. Well, I've left the 1940s home farm and I'm heading down towards the exhibition field now because last year they had some other exhibitions on there, some vehicles and encampments. So let's see if they've got them on this year. And just as I hoped, the exhibition field is a hive of activity. So we have uh, World War II encampments and vehicles, etc., etc. Yeah, there was a good one. Yeah. 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 Yeah
the 60s and then we got the SLR. So the one right on the zoo. <laughs> Is that true? Yes. not one yeah, of the like yeah. Tough and grass sort of thing. You yeah. stub your foot and yeah. dump yeah. all you've stuck into your shoulder. <laughs> yeah, so we're So there you have it, that is the Dig for Victory uh, exhibitions here at Beamer today. I'm going to have a quick walk around to the 1950s town to have a look and see the updates on that and see how far we're getting along with the building work. So as you can see the 1950s street is still uh, being developed down here so we've still got all these construction walls up but you should be able to see the houses behind they've got the windows in. So as you can see up here like I said the houses are almost done they've got all the roof tiles on, chimneys on and uh, the windows in. I'll see if I can get a better view through the fence somewhere. There you go, just needs a road put in and some landscaping and a bit of decoration. So this should be open by spring next year. And of course I'll be here for the opening to bring you guys with me. I'm not sure why, but Middleton's Fish and Chips in the 1950s town has been closed for quite a while. The last two or three times I've came, it has been closed and it's closed again there now. So uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Pass. Maybe the people who were running it have pulled out, I don't know. So I've had a quick walk around to the 1950s Welfare Hall and Community Centre to see if we can get a better look at the 1950s street that's being built because I think there's a better view around this corner. There we go, still lots of construction yet to do but the houses are pretty much intact. I'm heading back to the old town now and hopefully going to get a tram to head back up the, the entrance and uh, I think we'll call it a day. And that's another reason why we're going to cut this trip short. Because it looks like we're going to get wet. Change of plan, won't be getting a tram. Because I can see over my shoulder, there's a bus coming. So I'll be catching that as there's no tram to catch at the moment.
So there you have it. That was the Dig for Victory event here at Beamish Museum. Uh, World War II event. Very good. As good as it was last year. I really enjoyed it. Going to get away before it starts raining, like I say. Oh, and we also had a 1950s town update. And it's coming along great. So, shall see you all tomorrow. And <laughs> now it's time to do your job.